Hello guys and gals, and this is Vlog Friday. Let me just check. It's looking like Vlog Friday number 39. Let me just check, double check, triple check. 38. Yep, this is Vlog Friday episode 39, actually. So, anyways, as always, we'll be talking about it. A topic that um, isn't the seven points here underneath this piece of paper. Um, and um, I try not to um, overlap on that, even though it's hard coming up with 39 different things to talk about. But anyways, um, this time we are going to talk about the importance of remembrance. And basically the, <laughs> excuse me, the um, importance of memory itself. There are some diseases out there that basically rob a person of their memories. And that's basically very, very tragic because memories are very, very precious. Um, memories are basically what form our identity. Um, memories shape our view of the world. Um, basically, memories are what make a person what they are. Um, and then there are diseases like Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, however it's pronounced that basically rob a person of their memory. Um, I don't believe that um, very many people in my actual family have had Alzheimer's, so I don't have any much experience with it, but my heart goes out to those that, that do. Um, to watch a person become less and less like themselves. Um, so yeah, still... Um, it's um, heartbreaking to um, see someone lose their memories and um, just change and stuff. It's terrible. But um, I believe that most of the most of the deaths or the um, afflictions aff aff uh, affecting afflicting my family was, um, let's see, it would have been cancer, um, heart disease, because I had a grandfather that died of a heart attack, another, maybe it was my great-grandfather that died of a heart attack, um, a, a grandfather that died of Parkinson's and probably cancer, it was before they diagnosed cancer, it was like before cancer, you know, but he had another thing wrong with him besides um, Parkinson's which is another thing that robs a person of um, really vital motor skills and stuff like that. Tragic. Um, it can be basically just as tragic as, as the memory, losing a memory. Um, anyways, but yeah, um, cancer mainly in my family. Um, I think that I had a grandfather that had like bone cancer or something. And so, yeah, not a good way to go out. My mother, she, um, she didn't exactly die of cancer. She died of cardiac arrest or, or, or she just had a heart attack, but, um, she was cancer free. She'd undergone all the cancer treatments and so that was good, but it was a kind of cancer that was likely to come back. Um, but anyways, so yeah, memory is really important. Um, and it's something that, that's really taken for granted. Um, at least that's my opinion anyways. Um, it's really easy to, um, see, I can basically remember back maybe a few years and some people can't. I mean, some people... And there are times even... I have very little memory of my childhood or um, anything that happened, you know, back when I was a child. And I've never really known why I don't have those memories, and maybe it's a good thing I don't. But um, even school, I don't really remember school or college or anything like that. 
I don't know if I just found the memories to be boring and bland and so I don't remember them or if they were too traumatic for me to remember. So um, I don't really have memories, too many memories of my youth. And I'm 44, I believe, and I don't really... I, I have a photographic memory. And I remember the studies and the stuff that was interesting in school, but I don't really remember very much else. Just vague, very vague memories that have no connection and that might not even be my own memories. And um, it's just kind of a weird feeling, you know, to just not have that chunk of your life there. Um, just to have that gone. It's just weird. Um... So people can ask how, what, what I was like as a kid, and I won't remember because I don't really know why. I don't know if it's um, the way my mind works. Because, I mean, I can do math in my head without a calculator. I can, I've got photographic memory. I can do all this stuff, but I can't remember my past all that well. And I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse. Maybe you can tell me. Anyways, it's been about six minutes and we've been talking about memory. And um, it's easy to take that for granted, as I said before. Now, remembering some things can basically lead to depression because of maybe we made the wrong choice or made a choice that we didn't really like. Or maybe you made a choice that hurt somebody else. Um, Anyways, that can lead to depression, and um, one cure for depression, or at least the symptoms of it, is to do something you enjoy at least once a day. Make sure it's something legal. Um, also, make sure it's within your dietary wheelhouse. You can't have diabetics, you know, chowing down on sugar. They can, of course. Um, I did see someone today with an insulin pump, so um, that's kind of cool. And she was eating cupcakes, and that was fine because she's constantly got insulin going into her, you know. And that was cool. Um, so, yeah, but still, you want to make sure that um, you're, if you do decide to eat sugar and you're a diabetic, that you do it with discretion and moderation. Um, also, if you have celiacs or a disease, you know, like that, then you're not eating gluten or anything like that because um, that's kind of fatal. So, yeah, um, and again, this only helps the symptoms of depression, not the root. If you really want to get better, you really need to address the root, the root of the depression or take medication. Um, number two is if there, oh, there is always someone who cares, and that's always good to know, and that's not always easy to remember. Um, speaking of memory, I mean, it's, it's sometimes things can be pretty bad, and we can forget that there's people who care. Um, people in the service industry, they care. Um, your family cares. Now, if you don't have a family, then, um, yeah. There's always someone that you have friends that, I mean, people usually have friends and stuff like that that care. And it's just always good to know that someone always cares. And um, so it's easy to forget, though, and society kind of um, has a way of alienating people. And um, that's, not, that's never good. Um, society basically can make you feel alone, even if you have a lot of followers on social media and stuff like that. Number three is, if you are suffering from an affliction, there's no shame in seeking help, and this can be for a physical ailment or um, even a mental condition like bipolar or, um, it used to be called manic depression, by the way, and um, like um, paranoid schizophrenia. Um, I, I mean, with those, you actually basically need medication to um, cope and to function, um, but yeah. So um, there's a less of a stigma attached to mental illness these days, thankfully, because people are just realizing that, well, people don't really have control over it. And um, that's basically what the medication is for, is to help people, you know, basically get on an even keel. I've never really known what that meant, you know, what that, that meant. I think it has something to do with boats, because a keel is like a part of a ship or something. But anyway... Um, I do realize that there are people out there that can deal with their depression without the medication. You know, they can use diet and meditation and stuff like that. And I really admire people that can do that. But I realize there's also people out there that can't cope with depression. 
And um, sometimes they take the wrong way out. And that's just tragic because, at least in my worldview, everyone has a place in society, a very important place, actually, even if they are unemployed or if their job is to clean toilets. I mean, it's everyone has, um, has meaning and is important into society. And when society loses a person, then it's kind of overall a bad thing for everyone else. Uh, no matter how bad things get, there's always hope. It's always good to know. Also, things can get pretty bad, and so um, it can't be easy to find hope always. But um, um, also, people in the service industry can help with that too. Um, but hope is sometimes an elusive thing, and you have to look for it. Um, things can get pretty bad, but um, like number seven, I'm going to reference number seven. Number seven is always think positive thoughts. And in a way, that can also help you to hold on to hope. But um, always try to hold on to your hope and never give up. Never surrender, never give up. I think that's from Galaxy Quest. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Anyways, number five is societal labels or tags are pointless. People are people. And this is, again, where society basically tries to subjugate people or cause division. Um, basically, this can be... Societal tags can be racial in, in, in nature, and I'm not going to use any of those here because i um, family-friendly channel here, and um, I find them offensive, the uh, racial slurs and tags. No need for that. There's too much of that, actually, in like popular music and stuff for me to actually say any of it. And then you have someone of a different race say it, then, you know, I forget who it was, but some country singer said it, and then he got like, blackballed or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, it can also be uh, uh, labels that involve a sexual orientation. It can be um, even the, some of the positive tags and labels that society can give are a um, little bit, um, I don't know. The thing with societal tags and labels is they tend to put people in boxes that they don't really fit in. Like, um, you're, you, you have this color of skin, you go in this box and it's just like, it's just not really useful and it just causes more division as opposed to bringing people closer together. Um, I mean, there are people who embrace these labels and tags. I mean, in the furry fandom specifically, I mean, there are people who are proud to be called fur fags and I mean, that that's good for them, I know, but. I don't know. It's just um, kind of... I don't know. It's just... Um, I've never really cared for societal tags and labels. It just tends to alienate people and... Um, yeah. Uh, number six is be yourself. There will never be another you and that's really important to be. I mean, it's really easy, especially if you're young or in high school, um, to basically just go with the crowd, to bend to peer pressure to um, basically try to take maybe the um, more prevalent, the, the more prevalent, is that a word? Pre the prevailing viewpoints. Um, you should think for yourself, though, because you have a good mind, and um, you see the world differently than everybody else, um, and your, your opinions are important. Um, so, yeah. Um, the big, you know, the people who are really popular on YouTube and Facebook and all of the TikToks and all that kind of stuff. Um, they are themselves and people realize that and that's why they've got so many followers. They, they've embraced who they are and people embrace them because of who they are. And so just be yourself. There'll never be another you. You were created unique. So you need to embrace that and not be repressed. Anyways, um, Repressed or depressed? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, number seven is always think positive thoughts, and there are lots of those clinical studies that people have done that positive thinking is very, very beneficial, very, very good. It um, increases a person's lifespan, increases, actually increases a person's attitude, makes them, you know, more amiable, um, 
makes um, makes people more likely to be happy. Um, it read it um it, it it helps stimulate the release of endorphins, um, and basically um, just makes a person all around better if um, they think positive thoughts. And I'm not talking about the sarcastic. Oh, I'm positive it's going to be a bad day. That 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 doesn't work exactly. It takes um, more muscles to frown than it does to smile. It takes 17 muscles to smile and 43, I think, to frown. Now, who thought that up? I don't know. And yes, I got that off of a radio radio program. But anyways, um, um, it's just sometimes it's not easy to be happy, but you should always think positive thoughts anyways. And um, it's worked so far. So anyways, um, I don't know what you thought of all this. Um, let's see, 15 minutes, that's about right. Anyways, um, but yeah, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way, or if you want to join the Discord server and talk to me there, um, then all that information will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.